identify as white? Well, if you do, the BBC wants to hear from you. Now, I don't know what the identify as bit is about either, unless they have, unless the BBC has gone even further down the road to madness and adopted the transracial narrative. You know of transracialism. You might remember the white woman who uh, identified as black and uh, went on to lead lead a black people's organisation uh, because she felt black on the inside. That's the transracialism. Yes, it's just as crazy as it sounds. But that aside, the BBC wants to hear from white people in order to make a documentary about whiteness. And the person they have leading this documentary is a woman called Afua Hirsch. And Afua Hirsch making a documentary about whiteness is a little bit like the Ku Klux Klan making one about blackness. She is one of the most avid, rabid white haters in this country, and that is saying something. Her endless, endless preaching about racism is tedious and boring and people are getting tired of it. I heard her or, or saw her on uh, this Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and she immediately told him that he was a racist when he asked for evidence that uh, he is a racist. In her response, she included the words, by my definition of racism. And there you have it. She gets to define the word, uh, they accuse others of it, and they are guilty because she gets to decide who's guilty or not by her definition. She's also someone who talks a lot about lived experience, her lived experience as a black woman. How on earth then can she validly make a documentary about whiteness? What does she know about being white? Nothing at all. All she knows is or her hatred of us. Now, I'm going to say what a lot of us are thinking, and far be it for me to be controversial, but I will say it. First of all, she knows nothing about what it's like to be white. In a white-hating world, we are the only racial group that it's not only OK to insult us, smear and slander us, it's encouraged. If Afua Hirsch experiences racial abuse here in the UK, the law will be on her side. If white people experience racial abuse, or even if they're gang raped in the streets, there will be no recognition of it even being racial abuse. That's how hated we are. We're excluded from job opportunities. We're told there are too many of us in this room, too many white people on this board. How does she think white people feel about this? It doesn't matter to her because she hates us. But the point is, she has no idea of what it is like to be white in a white hating world. So where is her lived experience and why is lived experience suddenly so unimportant? But here's the really controversial bit and I know millions of us are thinking it. Why on earth, if you hate white people as much as she does, why on earth do you live in a white majority country? You really don't have to put up with us. There are countless countries on this planet where you'll scarcely see a white person. Why doesn't Afua Hirsch and her fellow travellers go live in one of those countries? I'll tell you why. It's because most of them are very, very poor. And this is the main reason for hatred of white people because white majority countries are also the wealthiest in the world. But that's not the idea. She wants to stay where the money and the opportunity are, but turn it into a non-white society. And that's the, that's the utopia, isn't it? Take white people's countries and all that they've achieved and the money and the progress and every, uh, the, the science, the infrastructure, all of that, all the opportunity. Take all of that, but get rid of the white people that actually built those countries in the first place. They want all the money, all the success, but they want rid of of us. That's the idea and that's the main driver behind mass immigration. It's also the main driver behind completely encouraged, and, and encouraged is a word, the absolutely approved of and encouraged anti-white hatred. We are supposed to bow down in shame. That is what we are being told to do. Uh, and unfortunately, many are doing it. If you dare as a white person to say, how dare you treat me like this on the basis of my skin colour, you yourself will find yourself 
labelled a racist. The whole thing is absolutely absurd. Now, I've got to say uh, that it's no surprise to me that the BBC is allowing this race baiter to stir up even greater racial division and hatred in this society. Uh, and the BBC loves this. The BBC clearly has an agenda against this country and against white people. And it is making the argument uh, for the privatisation of the BBC stronger and stronger and stronger. And maybe that's the only good thing to come out of it. But this has to stop. This is going to blow. White people are not going to take this forever. All we want is to be treated with the same respect as other racial groups. As it is now, we are trampled on, we are subjugated, we are told to feel ashamed of our ethnicity, our background, our skin colour. No one will take this forever. Absolutely not. And I only hope that when the backlash comes, and it will, the re end result will be actual racial equality, something that the likes of Afua Hirsch have no interest in. We must all be treated the same. The anti-white hatred has got to be stamped out for what it is. Toxic poison. So I'm asking white people not to indulge in race hatred, but to insist that you are treated with respect, that your skin colour, your background, your heritage and your ethnicity are treated the same as other racial groups and that you are protected from abuse. We are the only racial group that isn't protected from abuse because to protect us from abuse would be called racism. Enough.